next victim, Long's Peak. It snowed the other day, should be a nice little uh, icy trip. <laughs> so normally I don't really cover a lot about the camping that I do up here. Because uh, I don't get up here till really dark. And this time I've just been listening to podcasts and listening to the Elks Call. And it's getting colder and colder. I'm going to go to bed here soon. About 6 o'clock. It's going to get down to maybe 20 degrees tonight. And I'll be up at 2 to find my way up. i got 6 miles to go. But um, So this new thing. So I'm, i got a fitness coach. And I'm trying to eat better, do better workouts. And it's working. But uh, getting the meals in up here, I was trying to figure out how to do it. And I've managed that. Um, so I use my food saver. And uh, so this is steak, potatoes, and broccoli. And then I make these meals and can pack them up and bring them up to the mountain. Uh, but up here, so with bringing food, um, you're supposed to have a bear barrel. I told them I had a bear barrel, and then they asked me what brand, and I described it vividly. And I didn't know the brand, because I don't have one. And I spoke with conviction, and he's like, I believe you. So oh, I got my... A bag that I'm gonna hang everything from with rope going to it. So here's a looks like some scratchy scratch marks on the tree, <laughs> and it's right next to my tent. So we'll be uh, we'll be whatever precautions we have to. So that my big thing is that I don't want to go up tomorrow without food. So I'm gonna make sure that the bear can't get it. Nice and pretty, and. We've been scrambling up these boulders, and that is the keyhole. So, pretty nice uh, view. Starting to get light enough to see, almost without a flashlight, but yeah, jumping around on these huge boulders has been a lot of fun. Anyways, so about two miles, I think. Go up there, we'll skirt the backside on a lead. A little windy up here. Uh, I think this is what they call the ledges. I don't know, because it's kind of ledge-like. Because if you <laughs> don't do it right, you slip and fall down there. So, there are ways to go. Fun stuff. Well, we are to the trough. And yeah, like three quarters of a mile, half a mile to go. So the trough is just more rock scrambling. Ah, fingers in the way. More rock scrambling up through that pass. Too easy. <sighs> yeah, we're at like 13,600 or 800 feet. Hard to breathe, hard to climb, and luckily there's there's ice and snow everywhere. So that's making things very, very fun. Last little bit was fun. No idea I'm getting down. Gravity will get me down there eventually, but this is what we're looking at now. Getting over there. I think this is home stretch ledges or some shit like that, I don't know. But it's pretty. Should be fun. Home stretch my ass. This is gonna be a nightmare. Point two miles to go. Up that way. Found my heading. That's it. Right up to the peak. Luckily it's only like a 45 degree angle, but we'll be alright. We made it. The marker is on this giant rock. It's a huge, huge summit. Tip, whatever. And uh, actually, I haven't looked at this before. I really wanted one of the cooler things to do up here is Chasm Lake. It's right below here. Some way. 
could walk to it on the way back, but I'm probably gonna be too tired. There we go. There's Chasm Lake. Nice and beautiful. So all that boulder field is just below us. That's what we walked up this morning. Oh, it's gonna be a long walk back. I'm not looking forward to it, but it'll be all right. And here's the view. Join my lunch over Chasm Lake. Lunch. I got up here at 8.10. I thought I could get up here by 8. But I left at exactly 3.10. I got up here at exactly 8.10. So, five hours. I'm just happy to get this one done. If I get uh, Pike's Peak done, then I'm done with the Front Range. So, and I hate the National Park. I think this is the shittiest national park I've, I've been to. And so many rules. You gotta have this, you gotta have that. Ooh, be careful, though. you're taking your own risk. No fucking duh. As you'll remember from this morning, I went to Boulder Field. I'm sitting in the keyhole right now. What's Longs? And that's the boulder field that I went across. And actually, I'd prefer all day long to walk on these boulders. Because um, you get about three feet per step. Because you bound a little bit. I was hoping to come up here and camp last night, but it's to carry all that gear five miles up here just to get a, the job done quickly. I 